Do you see a drop off in conversion rate at all by driving people to the brand store versus driving people directly to a product listing? Yeah, absolutely. You do. So you end up having a little bit lower conversion rate coming into the store with these kind of keywords because a lot of people who are coming into the detail page, they're often ready to buy. Um, a lot of times when someone clicks on a store ad, the way that banner ads work and the placements of the store, they're often more shopping and kind of clicking around and trying to make their buying decision. So the customer that you end up attracting with store ads is often not quite ready to buy. And so the conversion rates are lower. One of the reasons I still am a huge fan of sending people to the store anyway is any purchase you get through the store, like if they click add to cart on the store and they never went to the detail page, that actually can artificially increase your conversion rate, your unit session percentage on your detail page because you have a sale without the corresponding detail page view. And so you can get somewhat lower depending on the kind of keyword and the kind of funnel you're building. You can sometimes get somewhat lower or very much lower um, conversion on your store that still ends up helping your overall conversion rate because they check out on your store instead of going to the detail page. So you do have to think of this holistically, like what am I trying to accomplish here? It's the same reason I like sending influencer traffic straight to the store as well, Um, because influencer traffic, Google traffic is always worse than bottom of funnel Amazon traffic. And so I like sending that to the store and you can have as poor of a conversion rate as you want. It doesn't really matter on the store. As long as a few people check out, that boosts your conversion rate overall. 